Hello, my name is Scott Anger, and welcome to your ninth Blender 2.6 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating some assets, or we're going to begin to create some assets for our game that we're going to be making relatively soon. So, we're going to create a, a, a hangar of sorts, like an airplane hangar. So, let's open up Blender. Let's start, uh, let's begin our little hanger thing. So we're going to delete the default cube and then shift A and uh, let's use a let's use a cylinder because it will be relatively easy to use a cylinder. Okay so we're going to rotate this along the Y axis 90 degrees so it's always flat then we're going to go hit uh, 3, 5, actually, R, Z, 90, enter, then we're going to hit 1, just to make it easier for us. Then we're going to go into tab and A to deselect all, Z to go into wireframe mode, and B to select all of the bottom ones, okay? And delete those. And then we're also going to want to delete this last middle vertice. So B and highlight and delete. Okay. Now we have our little thing. So we're going to hit A, S, seven. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we're going to hit 1 again. I'm going to hit grab and just drag it up on the Z axis so that it lines up with the, the bottom of the grid. Then I'm going to hit 1 again. Extrude and click right away so that nothing is done. Then we're going to hit S, Z, and bring down the size on the Z axis, and then S, X, to make that smaller. Now we're going to hit G, and bring that down, and Z. Okay. So now that we have that, we just need to add a ground on the bottom. This is actually relatively a quick procedure for this. Um, okay, so yeah. I guess that's all we need to do. We're going to go into wire mode and select the, this bottom one right here. And uh, that bottom one. And I'm just going to hit F to add a new face there. And to make sure we have the right orientation of everything, we're going to hit Z to go into wireframe mode again. Uh, yeah, no. Wireframe, no. Solid mode. <laughs> and I realized something. Let's select all. S. X. On the X. And we just want to make this size that way smaller. S Z one two. Okay, yeah, there we go. So so now it's longer than it is uh what you want whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna hit one. I'm gonna hit grab and I'm just gonna bring it. Z to as close as possible if we can get it to the bottom. Okay, yeah. Alright. So you know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and in this tutorial I'm gonna going to uh, get this ready for UVX. So we're gonna click there. 
shift click there, select that line too, and this line. And we're now going to hit Control E and mark scene. Then we're going to hit Alt and select this and shift and that uh, while still hold, holding Alt and select the next one. And Control E and mark scene. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Alt, Control Alt, and uh, Alt, Alt M. No, this is Control E, Mark C. And if I remember correctly, that is the way to do it. So I'm quickly going to split the area. Hit T over here, T over there, so that we have that done. We're going to UV Image Editor. And we're going to A to deselect all, and then A to reselect everything. Hit U and unwrap, and it should turn out correctly. Okay. Um, go into face mode so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Yeah, I forgot something. So instead, we hit A. Oh, dang it. Okay, so anyway, let's redo this. I'm going to select this one and this one. I'm also going to control, or control E that and mark scene. And also do the same thing on the same, this side too. Control, control E, mark scene. Okay, A, A, U, unwrap. And now it'll give us these two things and then the roof and the bottom. Which is, uh, all these are detached, but okay. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to export this. So we're going to click new here, or UVs, export UV layout. And we're just going to save it in our world area, along with all those other things. This is going to be named Hanger. Okay. Hanger underscore texture. Enter. And we're going to export your V layout. And there we go. Okay. Just to make sure it's over there, we're going to open that. And we're going to. Uh, I already made a bookmark for this, so I don't have to. And there it is. It's ready for us to do that. Okay. So I will close that, and we're going to file save as, and we're going to save this as the hanger. Hanger. Enter. And we'll save as Blender file. And just so we know what it is, we're going to name this hanger. Got a hanger. Hanger. Okay. And we're also going to control save again. And save. Okay. And thank you guys for watching. I will do in the next tutorial, show you guys how to texture this thing correctly for our uh, little. Thing, our hanger for our world. So, see you guys in the next tutorial. Keep watching the tutorials and uh, like, do whatever you please, share it with your friends, even. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye now.